view of history is a series of short stories. Pieces of a puzzle that, assembled, help us understand it all. How the Great Ones rose, where they came from, and how they endure. What they fought for, what they did to survive, how they changed perception, why they believed when no one else did, and how they forged a lasting legacy. If you thought you knew UFC history, this is the whole story in 25 parts. UFC 25 years in short. There's an argument for Anderson being the GOAT. He is so accurate with his strikes. He's the best. This is a different kind of striker. Oh, another knockdown! He's a dangerous man. High-level timing, speed, perfect technique. It's like a ninja. He's taken great fighters and defeated them in spectacular fashion. This time, he is going to be staring across the octagon from a younger version of himself, Israel Adesanya. I've watched this guy for years, all his fights. I know him better than he knows himself. Joe Rogan interviewed him and he's like, I want to fight my clone. I'm better than his clone. I'm going to Anderson Silva, Anderson Silva. He's one of the most fantastic strikers to watch. One of the greatest of all time! He will hurt you and take you out. This is the perfect fight. This is how a champion UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-in for UFC 234, Whitaker versus Gastelum. Tomorrow afternoon, Melbourne, Australia plays host to a championship matchup as good as any in recent memory. Sydney's finest, Robert Whitaker, puts his middleweight belt on the line against first-time UFC title challenger, Kelvin Gastelum. Plus, in the co-main event, the breakout star of 2018, Israel Adesanya resumes his quest against the legend and future Hall of Famer, Anderson Silva. We would like to thank our UFC sponsors, our presenting partner, Tab. Who are you back? AirAsia, now everyone can fly. The Australian Leisure and Hospitality Group with over 300 pub venues is the official home of the UFC. Watching UFC is better at the pub. Fallout 76, our future begins and Hudson Shipping Lines, shipping innovation. We would also like to send a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members joining us here today in Melbourne, Australia. We hope to see all of you once again for the live action tomorrow. And now we present the official weigh-in for UFC 234. What's going on, Melbourne, Australia? Great to be back inside the Rod Laver. How about a hand for the Octagon Girls, Christy, Red De La Cruz, Kahili, UFC President Dana White's in the building. Our great matchmaker, the handsome Mick Maynard, is here as well. All right, let's get to it. UFC 234, Whitaker versus Gessel. And we begin with the UFC Fight Pass prelims. First up in the Bantamweight division, Beastmaster Luigi Buren versus Jonathan Dragon Martinez. First fighter to the scale, please welcome Jonathan Martinez. One thirty six. One thirty six, the official weight for Jonathan Martinez. And his opponent, Beastmaster Wuliji Burin.
136 for Wuliji Buin. All right, next up in the UFC lightweight division, Callan the Rockstar Potter versus Jalen the Tarantula Turner. One fifty five, the official weight for Jalen Turner. And his opponent making his UFC debut tomorrow, Sunbury Zone, Kellen the Rockstar Potter. the official weight for Kellen Potter. All right, now we get to the featured bout of the UFC Fight Pass prelims in the lightweight division. Groovy Lando Banana versus Marcos Mariano. Fifty-five. The official weight for Marcos Mariano, and his opponent set to make his seventh UFC appearance. He is Groovy Lando Veneta. Six for Lando. All right, now we get to the UFC 234 prelims on ESPN. First up in the Bantamweight division, Yashabo Taruto Ishihara versus Mr. Perfect Jung Ho Kong.
136 for Kyung Ho Kong. And his opponent, Teruto Ishihara. All right, moving on now to the UFC flyweight division. Kai Kata Fronts versus Halion Paiva. First fighter to the scale, making his UFC debut. He is Halion Paiva. And his opponent proudly repping Auckland, New Zealand. Kai, don't blink, cut a front. Next up in the featherweight division, Shane Young versus Austin Golden Boy Ornett. Presenting City Kickboxing, he is Shane Young.
145. 145 for Shane Young. All right, now we get to our featured prelim on ESPN in the lightweight division. Devonte King Cage Smith versus Maestro Dong Hyun Ma. First fighter to the scale making his sixth UFC appearance, Maestro Dong Hyun Ma. Six for Don Hyun Ma. And his opponent, Dana White, two tonight contender series contract winner who has won his last five, King Cage, Devontae Smith. Six, the official weight for Devonte Smith. And that brings us to the main car for UFC 234. Live on pay-per-view. First up in the light heavyweight division, Jimmy Crook versus smiling Sam Alvey. First fighter to the scale, making his pay-per-view debut tomorrow, smiling Sam Alvey. Singleton's own, undefeated at 9-0. Please welcome Jimmy Coop. Next up, in the women's flyweight division, Montana De La Rosa versus Nadia Castle. First fighter to the scale out of New South Wales. How about it, Nadia Castle?
124 for Nadia Castle. And her opponent, currently ranked number 14 in the world, Montana De La Rosa. One twenty five for Montana De La Rosa. All right, now we get to a featured bout in the Bantam Weight Division. Ronnie Yaya versus Ricky Simone. Simone. And his opponent, number 15 in the world, 15 time UFC veteran, Ronnie Yaya. All right, now it is time to take a closer look at the two striking sensations who will share the octagon tomorrow afternoon in our co-main event. This is my pugilism. I've watched all his fights. I know the guy. He doesn't like the comparisons. He said that he's the first Israel Adesanya. Oh. I know when he's gonna move. I know when he's gonna coast. I know when he's chilling. I know the like the back of my hand. But I said, I'm gonna Anderson Silva, Anderson Silva. I'm gonna Israel, I diss on you, Anderson Silva. I see the place where I was they born. say for legends, I was raised by you the idolize them until you stare the across the octagon the at them. Like the you could not have asked for anything bigger outside of a title shot. You get the GOAT. You get the greatest middleweight the UFC has ever seen. Anderson's come back to fight for two years. I don't have nothing to prove. I'm very happy. People talk, oh, this is the, your clone and blah, blah, blah. But it's not. It's completely different. I'm about to do what I'm going to do to blow past all that comparison. It is what it is. Right now, I just have Anderson Silva in front of me, and I just want to get him out the way so I can progress and be on my way. Oh, another knockdown! Israel Adesanya! When a fight is started, people see, oh, okay, it's not the same, it's not the Anderson clone, but it's completely different. Goat, but I'm Nigerian. I've been eating goat meat since I was a kid. This is normal to me. It's normal. Just because I'm a fan doesn't mean I can't catch these hands. 
first fighter to the scale, the former UFC middleweight champion and one of the greatest of all time, Anderson the Spider Silva. in the world, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya! We're just gonna grab a minute here with one of the greatest of all time, Anderson Silva. First fight here in Australia. The welcome has been incredible. Your thoughts on tomorrow night, my friend. Thank you guys, thank you. You know, I, I worked my entire life for this sport and uh, I tried to do my best. And I need to say thank you God for giving one more time the great opportunities for give a great show for you guys. Thank you so much, thank you Australia, thank you Dana. Thank you, thank you guys, thanks so much. Thank you. Welcome back, the legend folks, Anderson Silva. And here he is, the man of the moment. This feels like the last style bender show. I know you're not fighting in the main event, but Israel Adesanya, your expectations for this fight with Anderson Silva tomorrow night, my friend. He's trying to make me cry. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, Melbourne, what's up? Uh, big shout out to everyone that paid, came through all around the world to watch the show. And a special shout out. Uh, he's trying to make me cry for real. To my, my, everyone from Auckland that came through, I appreciate you. But, um, bleh, breathe. I don't give a fuck. Look, I'm a fan of this man. But just because I'm a fan doesn't mean you can't catch these hands and elbow and feet and knee. Tomorrow, we're going to throw everything in the cage. We're going to have fun, all right? I'll send him off in a nice way. Let's go. There he is, folks. Israel Adesanya. All right, with that backdrop, now time to take a closer look at the men on the marquee, the two men who tomorrow will fight for the UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. I feel that I'm the best middleweight in the world because this is what I was born to do. I embrace my skill set. I'm constantly working harder than anyone else. And, you know, I was born to, born to be one of the best fighters in the world. Robert! Australia, they will have their first UFC champion. My, my goal isn't, wasn't to be champion, it's to be the best in the world. If that comes with, with medals and, and medallions and prizes and titles, and I'm happy for it. But my goal is to be the best fighter in the world that, that has ever lived. Being a world champion means more than anything. You know, more than just the title. I mean, it just means that you're, you're, you're a fighter, not only in the ring, man, but you're a fighter in life. 
It's been a lot of trial and error, man, and, and it's taken me a long time to get here. It's, it's made me who I am today, and it's just pushed me to, to, to my destiny. Pain pushes me. Pain pushes me. In my mind, in my heart, I believe it's supposed to be happening because this is what I've been working for for a long time. I just expected great things from me. That's what you should be expecting as a champion. Massive head kick for Whitaker. Oh, Whitaker pouring it on now. My striking has been getting better every single fight. And that is it. I'm pretty quick. I hit pretty hard. Oh, two early knockdowns for Whitaker. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, Whitaker with a head kick. That's what does it. Robert Whitaker. With all those assets behind me, it's hard to lose. Since the beginning of my career, the goal was always to be champion. And that's why I've taken all these tough fights, all these former champions. Look at this. Beautiful. That's it. Oh! Nice one-two from Gastel and Bisping is out! I'm, I'm going to come forward, and he's not going to know how to deal with my kind of pressure, with my kind of power. Kilvin's coming to Australia to, to fight for my belt on home soil for me. You know, he needs to be all in for this fight, otherwise he's not going to make it through the night. This is his hometown. This is this is the Rob Whitaker show. And that's why there's gonna be a lot of mad Australians on February 10th. I've got 25 minutes to look for a finish, and that's what I'm going there to do. I'm gonna send the message that I'm gonna be one of the best ever. First up out of the blue corner, getting his first shot at the UFC title, the challenger, Kelvin Gastelum. Challenger Kelvin Castellum and his opponent, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, the Reaper, Robert Whitaker. All right, first we'll grab a minute here with KG, Kelvin Gastelum. Congrats on your first UFC title shot tomorrow. Your thoughts on the challenge in Whitaker in front of you tomorrow night? I have nothing but respect for Rob, but tonight, I mean tomorrow night, we got to rip each other's heads off, and I plan on doing it. Sleep well. We'll see you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, Kelvin Gastelum. And we step over here and talk to the man around which this card was built. Sydney's own, Robert Whitaker. I know how excited you are to defend this belt in Melbourne. I know you've been asked every question at this point. Your thoughts on what kind of fight we're going to see with Kelvin tomorrow night, man? I'm going to go in there and I'm going to give everything. I'm going to leave my soul in there. And uh, like you said, we're going to rip each other's heads off and it should be a good watch. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. There he is, Robert Whitaker. Coming up, we'll see you tomorrow.
to what? Every test that you put in front of me, I've passed and I'll pass it again. I'm, I'm gonna be your champion or I'm